Hello and welcome again to another video on Some Dutch Wargamer. My name is Ricardo and today I want to talk to you about a couple of things. And one of the things I'm really, really enthusiastic about is I will be attending the London GT with my best friend. So, yeah, and the way they announced the London GT with the ticket sale and that kind of stuff is it will be held in London in the Olympic Stadium. Just wow. Yeah, I, I, I'm really excited about it. I want to attend. I will be attending. I already have my tickets. And yeah, just wow. A tournament inside of a stadium. I don't know how they thought about it or how they came up with it. But yeah, this just wow just good well enthusiasm aside, uh, enthusiasm aside uh, next to that I want to talk to you about some tactics with with guard and I want to talk to you guys about uh, the prioritization of your own units expendability and how you can keep your own units alive longer as uh, your units you want to have on your battlefield your shooty stuff your big stuff how to keep them alive longer i think what you need to do is read the battle before it even starts and how which units you want to get killed first in your own list uh, Preferably, you you won't get them killed, but if you have a, a choice in it, or you can read the battle in front, or you build your list that way, that you have the you give the the enemy a priority to shoot first. That's one of the things, one of the tactics you can use. The way I use it is uh, I have some big shooty stuff like Lemon Russes or Wyverns or Basilisks or whatever you use. And I keep them alive by giving the enemy a higher priority target. One of those targets you can use is, for example, Scions. Uh, the uh, Militarum Tempestus Scions are really good for that because they pose a real threat. They are not that expensive in points and they put out a lot of, uh, a lot of shots, especially with, uh, with plasma and if you deep strike them, you will have them within rapid fire range. So they will pose a real threat and they will be shut down first. And every bullet they soak up is a bullet not spent on your lemon rushes or other stuff. So that's one way how to do that. And there are a couple of units to, uh, to soak up those wounds. For, uh, you can use uh, Bullgrins, Chimeras that move, uh, move up with, uh, with Ogrins in them. Uh, you can use Conscripts or Infantry Squads that, uh, that you use with the Move, Move, Move rule to get them up in, uh, up in your enemy's face so they need to be shut down because else the enemy will be locked in close combat and they cannot shoot and they do not want that also that's that's one way to do it another way uh, to keep your units alive is deployment is key deployment is key in keeping your uh, your units alive what do we mean about it or well with it. What you do is you deploy your units and you need to have a way to counter deploy uh, counter deploying your enemy's deployment. What I see or what I use with this is I have a, a couple of units that are in deep strike like Scions or whatever and you put those units uh, you put them in deep strike first or in reserve first so if you put them there the enemy has to put on uh, a unit on the battlefield or they will put on one in reserves but if they start with that you can counter deploy on 
uh, whatever the, the enemy puts on the battlefield. Next to that, do, uh, do not deploy your big stuff in the, in the first things you will put on your battlefield. Why? If you will do that, your enemy will counter deploy on that. They will have their uh, their uh, their weapons that will break your big stuff, your big units. They will have them within range in the first turn. They they will they will do that. So the thing you want to have uh, you uh, you want to have uh, done is that your opponent will put down those weapons first on the battlefield before you put put down your heavy uh, support. How I managed to do it? I have a couple of, um, of characters, I have a couple of minor units, uh, infantry squads, um, that kind of units, and I will put those on the battlefield first. And with guard you have a lot of, tr a lot of choices to put on the battlefield, you, you can have that. And if you will put on your your expendable units first on the battlefield, your opponent will counter deploy, and they will eventually, well, most armies because they have less units units on the battlefield, they will have um, they will have to deploy their units first, and after they are done deploying with their units, you can deploy all your heavy support wherever you want. Within your deployment zone, you will have to fill it up with with units, with infantry, with whatever to fill the gaps that the enemy cannot deep strike within nine of your units inside of your deployment zone. If they will deep strike in your deployment zone, it can also be a tactic to use, but mostly you do not want it. One of the other things you can do is you can put in uh, scout sentinels. Scout Sentinels uh, have the ability to, before, uh, if you have first turn, before you move, or if the enemy has first turn, before they move, they have the ability to do an extra movement before the first turn of whichever player starts. So, uh, wh what can you do with this? For instance, the, the enemy has some deep strike units that can get in close combat or uh, that can shoot at your, at your heavy support. And what you can do with your scout sentinels with the extra move the, uh, you have is you can move them out of your deployment zone and that way you will increase the bubble that the enemy cannot deep strike, um, deep strike inside of inside rapid fire range or inside range of the weapons that will destroy the units you do not want to, uh, to have destroyed. One other thing that I use in my lists is that if one of my units gets shot down, you will not have um, a gap inside of your, um, your army tactics. What do I mean with that? If you have one for instance, Lemurus killed, have another next to it. So you have another unit to support that role that is not uh, on the battlefield anymore. What I do mean by that is you need to have a duplicate to fulfill the same battlefield role. Like for instance, if you have an infantry killer, you need another infantry killer next to that. If you have a um, monster killer or vehicle killer, you need to have a duplicate of that. It doesn't need to be the same unit, but it needs. You know, but it, you need to have a backup to fulfill that role on the battlefield. That way, you can still use your own tactics, and you really want to uh, to have the enemy change their tactics to your playstyle instead of the other way around and you can do that by duplicating units do not duplicate them too much if you duplicate them too much you maybe uh, do not have the um, the synergy uh, or the cooperation between your units that you want on the battlefield so to sum it up 
you need to uh, you need to read the, um, the battle in front uh, in front of it uh, before it starts. You need you need to know how the battle is going to take place. You need to read it. Next to that, your deployment is key, and you have a couple of units that you can prioritize to be shot down. So that's the way how you can prevent your units to be killed that you do not want to have killed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am uh, I'm really enthusiastic about attending in the London GT. Just say in the comments uh, whatever you like, uh, whatever you liked about the, um, uh, about the video or you didn't like, just say it. Uh, if you like the video, please put a thumbs up. If, <laughs> if you didn't, uh, didn't like it, say it in the comments. And I hope I will see you guys at the, <coughs> at the London GT also. And I will see you guys next time.